Good morning. Today, I'm leaving right now to go pick up my son from camp and then coming home and I have a lot of garden work to be caught up because we leave for vacation today. Oh, I'm already stressed. It's also going to be 111 this next weekend and it's a 25 degree jump from like where our average has been this last month, which has been beautiful. Normally it's sweltering hot already here, but it hasn't been. And so it's quite the drastic jump and I'm so nervous for all of the tomatoes blossoms just to die because of the shock. So I ordered shade cloths and we're gonna jimmy rig them and get them up. Not the, probably not the proper way, but we leave tomorrow. So, and I don't even think this shade cloth are going to be until this evening so it's it's going to be interesting as long as there's light i'm going to take you guys along all right this is what the garden looks like now before we go out of town everything is stunted back there none of the squashes are growing well i don't like this soil that i purchased <laughs> dirt all over my face um, i'm trying to print up everything because we leave for a week so so much changes in one week here are some sunflowers that I'm doing and I'm rooting some tomatoes for a friend. Um, I forgot to water it one day and had this lid on on accident. And, but they all came back. Tomatoes are so resilient. This is what is just looking so good. These are looking better than any of the other tomatoes. I have this soil that I thought was going to be the worst. It's clay underneath and I amended it with happy frog and it's doing incredible. I, I wasn't sure these were gonna even make it and they're, they're doing the best out of all of them. So I'm happy. Those are my tomatillo, those two on that end. Those are going crazy. I don't ever prune those. I just let them go and they're gonna take over this bed. Here are my determinant San Marzano, I believe. These ones are doing pretty good. They had some blossom end rot. So I had to take some of those off. And then we have some the peppers back here. They're doing pretty good. And then these peppers that I threw in here because I had an extra thing are actually snapping back great. So good, but... All right, I'm at my mom's garden and me and my dad just walked through and I got to show him everything. And that was really fun. And now I'm going to be harvesting all of our garlic. So technically I should be waiting until like the bottom, like two or three, I think they say it is, are dead and then you harvest. But these have been getting eaten by gophers and I feel like there was one that I harvested that already kind of looked like they were splitting. Last year, I waited until all those things were dead and mine were all split. So I'm gonna harvest them now because I've already harvested a couple and they looked really good. Let's do this. These are such good sizes. Cucamelons are doing pretty good. And here is the Cinderella pumpkin. Look, how exciting. And there's the other one, doing good. The onions are doing good as well. Not all are ready. That one actually would be falling over, but the thing is being held up by something else. So it's a pretty decent sized one. I'm gonna add it over to the garlic. Here are the other melons coming in okay but I'm kind of nervous that they're gonna get taken over by this cantaloupe and this trombancino squash which there's quite a bit of fruit on this one here is the cantaloupe and it's I planted a melon on this side um, but the cantaloupe is already coming over on this side so Look at these beautiful snapdragons. This, I love. This is amazing, whatever it is. It's like live mulch. These snapdragons are so pretty. Look at, look at the melons. I think that's a, is that a zinnia? And here are the 
Austin pickling cucumbers. Oh, look, this is the deal. We're going out of town and these are gonna start to be ready and I'm not gonna be here to pick them. Oh, this is stressful. Those are so cute though. Here is the butternut. I'm mainly making this video because I know in a week when we come back, things are gonna be so different. Here is this melon and that melon. My dad just picked a bunch of blueberries. Now this is kind of looking sad. I don't know, I don't think, no, if it's getting enough water. Um, it perks right back up once it gets water, but uh, I'm a little bit nervous because I won't be able to keep an eye on this while I'm gone. Yeah. Here are some banana peppers. Look at these guys, they're doing, they're looking so good. And all the shishitos. Look at this, so many blueberries. Oh, and a weed. I mean, just so many. So, so many. This, I'm so excited about. There are even more tomatoes. Now, it's looking so much better than it was. There's quite a bit of fruit set. funny is that there's this one that's growing amazingly and there's there's one little tomato I think there's another guy coming in oh look there's another one so it's it's coming oh I need to tie that up yep gotta tie this stuff up This right here is my very sad attempt at trying to do this by myself. And this is my son who did a great job setting it up last minute for me. I had to order these shades off of Amazon. I normally try and find things that are US made, but it is what it is. I needed them very last minute. It is way too long, so we did have it hooked to the fence. So there's a lot of extra fabric, but I think it's going to work okay. and try and save these tomato blossoms from the 113 heat that's coming at least give them a fighting chance i think he did a great job thank you so much judah this is the pepper bed you're doing so good i actually just harvested these two banana peppers and i'm excited to try them here is this year's garlic harvest. I'm excited to plant even more next year, but I am super happy with how everything turned out. Lots of hardneck this year. All right, we are hanging this up. Now keep in mind, this next apparatus you're gonna see is basically jimmy rigged until we can put it in properly, but it's at least gonna help our stuff not fry. Okay, so we hooked it up there. This is a 40% shade cloth. Rigby, out of there. And so we have it set like that um, just to give the tomatoes a little bit extra help. Let's see, so basically we just hooked them on those and it will at least just give some shade. How many blossoms are on that? We'll see if those live. most ugly shade but look at this this is beautiful it's just so pretty over there but like it's not even covering these up good hopefully that'll give them some shade but but those are like the only ones getting shade I'm gonna need to fix it when we get home but maybe this will help Okay, 
he like he can barely open the gate. It's pulling that too stinking tight. I do have to say though, for all those times that I kept the random shoelaces the kids had, those just came in handy. All right, it's done. <laughs> it's better than nothing and it's hideous, but here's it from this angle. Oh, do you see the lightning over there? Well, thank you for watching this mini garden tour. Me Jimmy rigging shade cloths up to try and save all the tomato blossoms. God bless. Okay, it's dark out here, but I couldn't stand that other one, so I fixed it. I don't know if all of this should get shade enough, but it looks so much better. So there we go. completely watered everything today. So glad I did that. <laughs> oh my gosh. 